What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and today I've got a quick little tutorial where we're going to be talking about one of the, I guess you would call it more neglected options in Revit and that's pinning down elements. So I would like to talk to you about how to pin down elements, uh, why would you pin down elements and when you should pin down some elements in Revit. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit. And for this one, I'm just going to be using the architectural template. So let's talk about pinned elements. Usually you would see pinned elements when you would, uh, I guess, insert something into Revit, for example, some AutoCAD file. So if I go here to insert tab and find maybe link CAD, and search, I've got a CAD file on my computer and let's set the units to meters and let's just load it in. And here we have a CAD file. Now, if I select this CAD file, as you can see, it's got this little pin in it and that means it's pinned down. So what does that mean? Well, that means that I can select it and if I try to move it, I can't. I can type in MV for move and if I do it, it gives me this warning, it says, can't move pinned elements. So that means it's pinned down and we can't really move it around. And how do you unpin it? Well, you either come to this pin and you unpin it, or while it's selected, you go here on the modify tab for that file, you find this little pin icon and you can either click there or use the shortcut UP. So just type in UP and now if you select it, you can move it around. Okay, and here you can now pin it down using PN. So just type in PN and now it's pinned down. And again, now you can't move it. Now, when would you do this in Revit? Well, some elements like this come pinned down. So, so if you load something in, it's pinned down. Also, if you go to the architecture tab to the wall command, and let's just use an architecture wall and let's choose one of these storefront walls. And if I just place one of these here and select one of these uh, vertical grid lines, as you can see, it's pinned down. If I go to move it, I can't, it doesn't let me. So I need to unpin it either here or here, and now I can move it around. So whenever Revit uh, finds it necessary to kind of constrain uh, any of these elements and not let you edit them that easily, it's going to pin them down. Now you can of course pin down elements yourself. So let's say I want to place a grid line and then uh, I don't want to be able to move that around accidentally. So if I go over here and create a grid line like this and then maybe I add a wall over that. Okay, maybe some other wall. Let's not use this one. Okay, something thicker. Okay, so we've got something like this and then I go in to move it and I just select like this and then I move both the grid line and the wall and that's not what I wanted to do. So you would either have to select just the wall and then move it or let's go back or you can select this grid line, go over here on the modify tab and type and just select this pin or just type in PN if that's what you want. And now this is pinned. So if you go like this and you now go to move, you will only move the wall and not the grid line. And one more cool option about pinned elements. If you go over here to the select options and if you go and find this pinned elements, select pinned elements, and if you select it, and now it's got this little cross sign over here. Now, if you go to select elements, as you can see, this thing, this grid line, because it's pinned, we can't even select it. So if I, even if I try a selection, it doesn't work. Same thing for this CAD file. I can't even select it. I can select the wall, I can select this wall, but for the pinned elements, they just want to be selected. So that's another thing you should probably know about pinned elements. And I can turn it off over here and now I can select both pinned elements. But again, I cannot move them because they're, well, they're pinned down. Okay, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> Everything you need to know about pinned elements, how to pin them when they come pinned down uh, just by Revit itself and some of the tools and options that, uh, that are associated with pinning down elements in Revit. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you have learned something new. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video and I will come with another tutorial tomorrow.